I have one question. I want to see your thumbs up or thumbs down. True or false? True or false? True Here it is. False. When I meet with teachers and work with teachers, I make it very clear that it's an honor for me to be able to, to be invited to your classroom and work with your students. Being a coach, it really is a luxury. So there also needs to be a certain amount of respect for the demands of the job that teachers are facing. That makes sense? Sure. That makes sense? Yes, sir. Anybody who watches basketball, I love basketball. So let's just say these are Kevin Durant's stats in basketball. Teaching is an art that you can um, continue to perfect and craft, and that's part of what makes it fun and interesting. I spent 10 years as a teacher, and I've been doing research for about 10 years. And I didn't get out of teaching because I didn't enjoy it. I, I actually got out of teaching because I was interested in learning more about the complexities of teaching, and math teaching in particular. We don't want to just average anything. Right. Yeah. We kind of have to look at our data and say, well, what does this actually mean? Right. And, and that's then, why I've given the set was which I like it. purposes. Exactly. Right. So we're going to do age and we're going to do math. I like it. Okay. All right. Instructional coaching is embedded professional development for teachers. When a coach comes in, you're, you're being asked to, to share your teacher practice, to share your practice. That's a vulnerable place for teachers to be. If I'm going to be vulnerable, I have to feel like you, I can trust you. I have to feel like that you have my best interest at heart. It is a partnership with the end goal of increasing student achievement. Given that most of my responsibilities at AI are research related, I've been doing a lot of work to understand math professional development, math coaching, and math teaching and learning more deeply. For me, I really like being able to do research, but also to have a place to apply it in the context of technical assistance. Tell her why you think she's a good guesser. Because I think she is a good guesser. The way that I was taught math, and many people were taught math, is that it's a series of procedures or steps that you need to follow to get the right answer. And there's certainly a place of that where arithmetic is important um, and skills are important but too often we find when procedures are taught in the absence of concepts they're not retained very well we find that teachers are often not given the time to think carefully about what these concepts mean the way that you guys are thinking through this is exactly right. What are my factors for the... Especially with uh, the emphasis of the Common Core State Standards and a push to make the United States math curriculum you know, more world-class, more conceptual, more rigorous, there's really no way around getting the concepts. The problem is it's much easier to teach a set of procedures. I like, I like. Work for you? Okay, good. Now you can go on to number three. If you can get someone that is engaged in solving problems and figuring things out, that's probably going to serve them well regardless of what they're studying. And when you look at assessments, the higher up you go in school, there are more application questions, there are more problem solving situations. If you're able to explain why, that's going to get you further in the long run than just knowing how. So far so good. Teaching is incredibly complex. Having an extra set of eyes and ears is something that any teacher would probably love to have.